Alright, so the last time, if you guys remember, uh, at the end my my uh, com my game crashed, so we'll leave off where we left off. Hopefully, it doesn't crash this time. So we're heading down this path. Headed towards Prim. What exactly is the button to holster this thing? Nah, screw it. I'm not really too worried about it. Let's see if I got any one-handed weapons. I can't remember. I kind of got a little bit angry and and uh, quit playing for a while. So let's go with the revolver. That that sounds like it's fun. Ooh. All kinds of neat stuff going on around here in the desert. <laughs> Whole bunch of nothing. Boy, venture deeper into the wasteland. And, uh, finish. I'm done. Let's see. Where's my location on the map? Yeah, so I need to go off and follow all the way down to Prim then. From here. I should be coming up on it soon. I hope so. This place is kind of creepy at night. Isn't the, des the desert supposed to get so cold at night that like the human body can't withstand it? Because I'm still alive. Alright, where's the enemy? Kill this sucker. Crap, he ran away. Oh, right in the face. Come on. <laughs> Owned. Alright, you know what? Screw this. I'm not even gonna waste my time on you. Come here. Look at that. Finally some action out in this desert. There we go. That's how I holster the weapons. I look like a roller coaster. Let's go for a ride.
Boom. <laughs> That'd be cool if that still worked. Okay. I know about fast traveling. I play Fallout 3. Now I gotta find the gate so I can get in. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay. This the tent? Doesn't look like much of a tent to me. Someone tells me I shouldn't mess with those. Then I get a little bit mad. So I'm still not seeing this tent. <clears throat> I'd like to know about where I'm supposed to be going. Is it up there? Is that the tent they're talking about? Hmm. Is there anyone up here? Oh Jesus. Where are you dude? the guy over here. Oh, there's the tents. Okay. Hey. All right. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army <sighs> Battalion First Company. What's your business? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. The mission isn't a problem, the problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. <sighs> Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people facility. just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. 
A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup, killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. Okay. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay. I have some free time. Ask away. Sir. All right, looks like I'm heading into Prim. Hello. That guy didn't want to stop me, so why should this guy want to stop me? I think what we'll, I'll we'll do is go on in and have myself a look around. First, I want to save just in case. Sure you should be here. I'm not sure you should talk to me. Oh, I'm mine. Nice. Guess I should keep an eye out for those, huh? I don't see any red lines on my radar, so. Enemies. Oh, there's one up there somewhere. Maybe on top of the building. Tab. Oh crap. You like that? They know I'm here. You just got owned, fool. I'll take your stuff. Let's try 
try to disguise myself as them. Vicky and Vance Casino, huh? I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. <laughs> Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. <coughs> the storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Hmm. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. <laughs> no, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Huh. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. No, you're right. It's not for you to say. Huh. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow okay. in the daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Okay. He may have heard where they were going. Alrighty then. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. <laughs> sure, I'll tell you what I... Mm, goodbye. Get... Howdy. Prim Slim, nice. <laughs> Let's see how many people can shoot at me this time. I'm about tired of you. So why don't we go like this? You can tell me how much you like a shotgun in your face hole.
Yeah, I like that. Wow, this room was a bad choice. 